Well, thanks for tuning in to uh, Calling the Ozarks. Today I'm going to do a review on a Brittany T18 Artemis flashlight. It's a zoomable flashlight with wireless remote switch. I've been playing with this thing a little bit already and it's pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. Pretty decent quality. Got a pretty cool card here. Got a warranty card. How I many is it? Like uh, a five-year, two plus three warranty on it. Max 650 lumens. Got quite a quite a few um, of these inserts that go in there too. Different ones. I'm not sure if this is the exactly the one that comes with this, or if they threw a few extra in there for me to review. Let's see, we've got a uh, little cable here to charge the battery. The battery, actually, you pull the battery out. I'll show you that. You pull the battery out, and you actually use this, I think it's a mini USB, I think. I can't remember what that's called. But plugs right into the battery, so you don't have some charger you got to go looking for. Here's the remote. Looks like you can strap that onto to the weapon or to you or whatever you want or it's got a little double stick tape thing here to on some velcro you can do pretty much what you want to do with that here's a little charger for this remote plugs into the end there <clears throat> Okay, this one, I don't think they all come with this, but this one's got several modules. Comes with some more O-rings. Spare O-rings if you need them. Got this box packed really well. Okay. There's the light. Looks like quite a few of them that I've done before. It does have a nice crystal clear lens on it. Okay, and now this one has already got a module in it. So that means this one has got seven modules. I, I don't I don't think they all, they all come with seven modules, but uh, this is a white one, as you can see. I'll just go ahead and show you right off. Um, you for to to operate this switch. I mean, to operate this uh, remotely, you just you have to turn it on first, and then you can turn it on and off, or you can turn it on and hit the minus switch here, and it'll start to dim it. Or you hit the plus, start to increase the brightness. I don't know where that could be useful. It might be. I don't know if I would find any uh, real use for that yet, but you've got that, uh, that flexibility, that capability that uh, might come in handy. So that's all remote done. I can't figure out a way that you can do this, even in the instructions, uh, uh, locally on the flashlight. It's got to be done with this, with this little remote. But it's pretty cool. So that's the remote operation. Let's go to these uh, LEDs. It's got a UV. I, don't, I really don't know what you'd use that for in a hunting application, but it's got a UV module, a green module, a red module. And it's got a. It's got two different uh, intensities of the infrared. One of them's an uh, infrared IR940, and then an IR850. So that's that's pretty darn bright. And then I got one here. I'm not sure what this is. Just got a little blue thing on the front of it. But that might be a blue light, maybe or something. I really can't tell. So I'll I'll turn that on and we'll find out what that is. But uh, seems to be pretty good quality. Nice and heavy. 
Most of them don't have a five-year warranty, I can tell you that. But um, I like that it comes on. I forget what they call it, some kind of a mode here that they call it, that uh, uh, emergency mode or tactical mode. It comes on immediately on high beam, so you don't have to fiddle around with it. It doesn't have those. Uh, it's kind of annoying to me. Some of the other ones, you turn it on and it's flashing or doing something crazy. You know, I, I, I want to be able to select that. I, I like that. This doesn't have that. It's just on maximum. Then you use the little remote to dim it if you want to. But 99% of the time, you're going to be using it in, in maximum anyway. So I, I like that about it. I really do. Seems to be made pretty well. But uh, when it gets dark, I'll get out there and we'll do some uh, nighttime shining out there and see how bright this thing is, is with the different uh, modules in it. Uh, I won't be able to test the IR modules because I don't have night vision. I'm, I'm a thermal guy. But uh, we'll see how the red and the uh, green uh, look. So I'll be back in a little bit with that. Here's the red. It's about, say about 30, 40 yards. It's back in the woods. Zero in on it. Pretty bright. Go ahead and dim it here a little bit using the remote. back up. See there's the red module. There's the green module. Zoom her in here. Pretty concentrated beam there. Dim it. Pulls all the way out. Okay, there's green. Here's the white. Focus it in. Back in the woods there. We'll dim it with the remote. You turn it on and off with the remote. white. Okay, I'm not sure what you would use it for, but this is the UV light module. I just really don't know what the purpose of this one would be. But it's got it. That's for blood trailing or something? Or I really don't know. There's a UV light uh, module. Alrighty, final thoughts on this. Pretty good light. Um, it's it's uh, I consider it kind of lightweight compared to a lot of the other ones. That doesn't mean it's cheaply made. It's just uh, a little bit lighter than the other ones. It'd probably be easier to carry. Um, the the three strong points uh, that I like about this are that it has. Uh, this uh, UV light module that I'm not sure if that you could help you detecting blood on a blood trail or not. I, I, I looked it up pretty quick on, on the internet and one says it detects blood and the other one says it doesn't so I don't know. I've never used it. But it's got that. That's the, a good selling point. <clears throat> and then also it has two infrared modules. Different um, values. One's an IR8 50 and the other one's uh, IR940. 
So you have two different selections of that for using that for uh, uh, night vision uh, hunting with night vision scopes, you know, your infrared light. And then one thing I really find fascinating is this uh, remote. I can't, I, I'm, I keep thinking of there's got to be some way to use this really well and uh, that it, you could uh, use this to your benefit for hunting, but I don't, I don't know. If you mount this on your gun and then you have this on the side, uh, you don't have to have a bunch of wires in the way. That's one one way, but uh, might be some other application that you use it for. But right now with the with the light off, it won't turn on until you can't use this remote until you turn the light on, and then you turn it off with this, and then you can turn it on and off. And then you can the only way to dim this light is using this the remote. Now if you turn it off and turn it back on using the remote, it stays with the same intensity. Now if you turn it off manually with the switch and back on, it's going to be bright again. So that's something to remember. So you can turn it off and on with the remote, dim it, and then increase the intensity back up using the, uh, the remote, the wireless remote. Like I said, you can mount that on your weapon, and then uh, you wouldn't have a bunch of wires in the way. So that's become, that's kind of a neat little feature. I like that. But I think it's 650 lumens, which isn't bad, as I've had brighter ones, but this is all you really need. But uh, like I said, it comes with a red, a green, and a blue insert, the one that they gave me, and that UV light, and a two infrared selections. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this thing a good solid 9. It's not bad. It's a little bit lighter, which wouldn't hurt my feelings. And um, I really like the the way it's, it's easy to change these, these LED inserts. Just comes unscrewed, and then that deal right there, just the actual module just comes right out. Change these out in the field easy. Get little radial uh, connectors on the bottom and little pins down in there. It's kind of a cool little design. You just pop another one out and pop this one in if you want to change them out in the field. Works pretty good. Another thing I like about it is the battery. You uh, don't have to carry around a battery charger. This uh, cable um, got a USB on one side and I think it's a, I think that's a mini USB. I keep forget what that's called. But that type of USB, kind of the, the latest one model, this plugs straight into the battery, right into the right into the bottom of the battery, and you just charge it right there. It's pretty cool. And I've tried it, and it charges right up, and it goes red when you first charge it in, and then when it's done, it goes green. Pretty neat. All right, like I said, I'll give this the bad boy a, a a good solid nine. So go out and get you a. a um, a uh, Brittany T18 Artemis zoomable flashlight with uh, with a wireless switch, and remember it's got a five-year warranty, two plus three. So thanks for your time.